at almost 7 inches, this is the biggest and the second most expensive Samsung phone to date. Here is my long-term review. LC Gaming. By the way guys, this episode of LD Game is proudly sponsored by Speedico.in. Speedico.in is your mobile gaming platform wherein you could earn free loot crates, DLCs, in-game items, skins, and whatnot from mobile games such as the popular ones like PUBG, Mobile Legends, and whatnot. All you have to do is have four basic steps. Download the Speedico app, register, validate, and do the surveys. Basically guys, all you have to do is those short surveys and you're good to go. Click the link down below to use the code that I have so you could earn and start having free skins. Qualcomm Snapdragon 855, 12 gigs of RAM, 512 of UFS storage 3.0. These are the typical specs that you can find in today's flagship phones. But what makes the Note 10 Plus ahead of its class? Aside from the things that I hate about the Note 10 Plus, we should check here or here. There is really a lot to say about this phone. This phone, it's really tough. With it being equipped with Corning and Gorilla Glass 6, both on the front and back panel, dropping this phone, you should not be nervous about it. I have dropped this phone three times at the office. At waist level, it didn't have any scratch or gouges so I could really say that this is one hell of a tough phone. The camera shoots great, like really great, especially in well-lit environments, especially its panoramic shots and portrait shots. I would also like to thank Samsung for making a good software to support its beastly cameras that utilizes its real potential. The only thing that I got jealous about from those Huawei P30 users is that they have this 50 times zoom, which I don't really need, but I think I paid quite a handful for this phone, so I guess it should be here, right? Also, should the Note 10 Plus have this um, second camera on the front screen since the S10 Plus and the S10 uh, have those? Comment down below, guys. Software. That was fast. Being a Samsung user for the past five years or so, I could say that they really improve on their software UI. Starting from the TouchWiz to the Samsung One UI to the One UI 2, it's really intuitive, responsive, and overall user-friendly thanks to its refreshed icons, responsive performance, as well as nice graphics. Coupled by its accessories just like this LED case, that keeps you up to date with your calls, your texts, and your notifications. I could say that this really improves your productivity. The features such as the S Pen, the air gestures, and the always on display really makes you productive, especially in meetings and presentations. Which is why the Note 10 Plus, for me, is really the best phone that you could have right now. So that is it for my long-term review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. If you like this video, you know what to do. And please consider subscribing, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.